Hello everyone and welcome to day 38 of 90 Days with Jesus. Today we are looking at the topic, Hanging Out with God, part 2. We're going to be taking a text scripture from the book of Mark, uh, chapter 3, verse 4, and it says, And he ordained twelve that they should be with him and that he might send them forth to preach. So, Sahara Desert, scorching sun, you're thirsty, there is no water inside, nothing inside, but you keep trudging forward like you're on a first to cross the Sahara Desert challenge. Does that sound like your prayer life? Mine used to be that way, very boring. I used to do it only because I absolutely needed to. But you see, your prayer life really doesn't have to be that way. Prayer can and should be enjoyed. So the other day, um, the Holy Spirit gave me this analogy about how when each person gives their life to Christ, it's like God starts to build a house with just you and him. And so he started to explain to me that the experiences you have with him in the place of prayer and, with, and every day as you go on, they sort of like create memories that you hang on the walls in the house that you have built with him. And you want to know the best part about this house? You can pick it up and go with you anywhere you want to go. So you're in a board meeting, lots of chaos all around, and you can actually start to talk to God. You can step out of the world and step into, you know, your, the house you have with God and literally talk to God. Prayer should be that easy. It shouldn't be, it's not a hocus pocus thing. It shouldn't be something that you only reserve to one time a day. I mean, if you have a best friend, chances are that you will not talk to that best friend only one time throughout the day. So prayer should be enjoyed. It's something you should do more often. You should be eager to hear what it is that God wants to say because God wears so many hearts in our lives. One second, his father, the next, wanting to share so much wisdom. The next second, his friend literally wants to sit down at the table and just hear how your day went. And the next second, his, you know, lover, he wants to love you unconditionally. He wants to shower you with, with blessings. So he's all these things and more to us. And he expects us only to just give him attention, talk to him, and then hear him out. So how about we do this challenge, seeing as we started off with the challenge. How about today, you spend 30 minutes with him in prayer. First 15 minutes, you talk to him, pour your heart out, pour your burdens out, you know, get a feel for, or more like, let him know how it is that you're feeling. And then the next 15 minutes, you actually sit down and listen to him, because he's always talking. He's always talking. Let's say a quick word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this time out. And we just pray that even as we uh, go about our daily activities today, that we're conscious of you, we carry you with us, so that when we are reminded to pray when things are not going right. We're reminded to pray and say thank you when things go perfectly. We're just very excited and very giddy to share our life experiences with you throughout the day. Thank you because we know you will help us, Holy Spirit, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen.